can't see my lens, but how's it going today, tubes? So, uh, <clears throat> it's going to be another uh, light video. I had uh, ordered myself another Craftsman light again, and finally showed up today. I ordered it by a by a slow shipping because I'm not in a hurry for it, and it uh, didn't take too long though. I mean, I ordered it Friday, and it got here today. So whatever today is. Um, it's Tuesday, I think. I don't know. I'm just going to the shop because I want privacy. So. And you guys also missed out on, uh, <clears throat> I was making a video, but I just like uploading it. Um, <clears throat> you guys missed out on the Grammy Cold start to the, uh, to the old heater here. And, uh, I have seemed to have lost power again now, so I'll, no power in the shop again. Now, <clears throat> yesterday or whenever that day it was, it was super freaking windy out, like nuts. So I figured she's uh, figured she's disconnected again somewhere. So, cause I got like three or four lines running on here, so she's disconnected somewhere again. And she was too cold that day to work on it, so I'm just gonna let it go for now. And, and you, really, you can't really work with them anyway because now you got all that snow there now, so you might be out, might be out of power for a while. Oh, excuse me, just had some dinner, so some uh, good old Hammaker Helper shit, you know, the actual Hammaker Helper, not the other kind. So, but uh, and I had a bun bun. <laughs> That's what I call them. They're actually just like little buns, you know. I just call them bun buns. My mom and my sister think that's so funny. I don't know why, but I think it's funny too. So I, so I just say bun buns. It's kind of funny. So just go with it. <clears throat> but anyways, I got me another light, another craft light. I'm not going to show it to you because it's the same as the other one. So, but I will be doing a uh, putting it on video, you know, installing it or whatever the hell you want to call it. Figured I might as well do that, and you guys can see how that works. And, uh, <clears throat> and then I'll hook up my other one too, my my first one. <coughs> and then you guys can see, you know, what I'm trying to go for. So, but, uh, yeah. But, yeah, but anyways, um, like I said, I ordered it by, uh, you know, standard shipping. I thought it was, <clears throat> excuse me, damn it. <clears throat> I thought they said it was going to come by UPS, but here it came by the mail, so I don't know. Unless it switched over to the mail, you know, from closest town to here, so, <clears throat> you know, whatever. It came here, it's not defective or anything, it works just fine, so. But honestly, I'm liking those lights, and... And they, they have a warning on there. I didn't see the warning, but I've seen it now. Since they're LEDs and they're so friggin' bright that they say not to uh, look into it directly. But I kind of did that one time, and I did it to my mom, too. And she was kind of seeing spots in front of her eyes for a while. So, <clears throat> those lights can fuck up. Those lights can fuck up your eyes if you stare into them. And you probably could go blind, I guess, if you stare at them long enough. So... So if I put them on and they're not working right, I'm like if I'm getting blinded by them all the time, <clears throat> I might have to build me something out of cardboard to uh, like so the light's not on me, you know. It's just like shooting everywhere else. And I see my lovely uh, meter man showing up, so he'll probably be coming to my house pretty quick. <clears throat> but. Uh, I don't think there'll be a reason for him to come in, so unless they want to do a pole replace, but replacement thing, but very it. But anyways, guys, I heard that um, that uh, I think it was a couple days ago. I don't know, yesterday or something. 
<clears throat> down south, a little ways from here, um, and they're getting the snow again. They're getting like freaking 20 inches of snow again. That's just nuts. And now I heard that my mom just told me that there's a good chance that we're going to get more snow. And it's all going to, of course, turn to freaking slush. So, <clears throat> well, yeah, everything's starting to melt, even here now. Um, where it took the longest to start melting, it's starting now. So, they said that we were only supposed to get into, like, the, uh, to the 20s, or upper, thir or lower 30s. It's getting there, because it's nice and warm, and everything's melting like freaking crazy. So, <clears throat> but uh, it's re it's just stupid, because now we're going to get more snow again. But, you know, I mean, it, it wouldn't last. Um, she didn't tell me how much, but I don't know if it would be worth plowing. Or something, I don't know. So, so I mean, I mean if, if we do get something, it's not going to last. Hopefully. Um. Because we just don't need any more of this crap. Getting tired of it. I mean, all the roads are opened and everything. and Every day there's more yard showing. Especially over here at my neighbor's chunk of property. I mean, there's a good chunk of grass showing already. So. <clears throat> just It'll be a while before, Christmas before it starts growing. Which kind of freaking sucks. So. But the trail's starting to, uh. Definitely starting to open up. Got some puddle of water down there, so that's not good. But you know how it goes. So, well, yeah. So, I guess we'll do another light install, installing video, and a little update and stuff. Even though I pretty much already gave you all the updates, but you know, I'll still think of something else. So. But anyway, guys, I'm going to take off and go up to the house there, and i got to set up the tripod. i got to make sure I can get it just right so you guys can see, because it's in the corner. So, so let me go figure this one out, see how I can get you guys set up, and uh, then we can uh, start selling the bitching. So, yeah, give me a minute, dudes.
looks a little better than normal than the other one. Huh. Let's go loosen all that, tighten up that screw. Okay guys, so uh, <laughs> that um that looks awesome. I like it. My mom's gonna take a whole bunch of pictures and <laughs> put them on Facebook. And then I'll just hijack them from her Facebook and I'll put them on my Facebook. So So what I'm gonna do tonight guys, I know you guys probably really couldn't uh I guess you guys really couldn't see anything because it's Kind of, you know, daytime. So, and I gave you guys a shot from the driver's seat too of how it would kind of look. But I, I just have to uh, fine tune them. And uh, I, I don't, it just seems like the the new one that I got now it just seems like it's so much brighter than the other one. But the other ones, the old one, the first one, you know, it's in the sunlight, so I suppose that's why. But but tonight, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to. Uh, make a nighttime video and I might, I might take some pictures and stab them onto the you know part of the video so <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is uh, wait for nighttime because I'm gonna start editing this pretty quick and uh, and then uh, you know stab it up to YouTube and stuff and, get it set up and stuff so I think that should work pretty good honestly I don't uh, see why not so yeah it's gonna be kind of awesome even though I don't probably don't plan on mowing a whole heck of a lot at night but you know it's nice to have them there when you do need them the only thing I kind of worry about now is when I crawl off it I might end up whacking into them, so I'll have to be kind of careful. And I know you guys really couldn't see much of me mounting it. You know, the, the new one. Um, I just had no place to put it, to put, put the camera. I guess I could have put it in front. But then you guys probably would have just have not really seen much of anything. So, I don't know. I guess I might just seem a big ass, but... I don't know, that'll do for now. And stuff, so... Yeah, that should work uh, pretty awesome. And uh, <clears throat> like I said, I'll do a nighttime shot for you. I'm just gonna put it at put it at the end of this video too, so it's just less videos and stuff. So oh, I'm sick and tired of wearing the sweater of the damn thing. Like oh, crawling all over the place. Yeah, I just made it worse now. Oh, that's better now. Okay. Damn it. I want to get rid of this winter crap, man. I want to wear my summer clothes. Fuck. But, uh, she's melting. She's melting, so. 
It's going to suck that we're going to get more, but I don't know really how much we're going to get. So, uh, we could get an inch. We could get 20 inches. <laughs> That's freaking crazy. I watched this one guy's video. Forget your name, buddy, but he probably won't watch this video anyway. But, you know, whatever. So, <clears throat> you had that snowstorm called Nemo or whatever the hell it was called. And uh, he said that he was out every couple hours or something plowing freaking snow. They were getting like, I don't know, five inches a, a minute or something, you know. <laughs> it's just nuts. And I see he was plowing with an ATV, and which is what I do too. So, <clears throat> but I, man, I hope we don't. I hope we don't ever get a snowstorm like that. I would. I would be out all friggin' night doing this fucking bullshit. And my mom said that. Well, that one day we thought we were gonna get a snowstorm like that, and I said, well, from the looks of things. I would be out plowing all night. And she's like, well, fuck, you can just stop at midnight. So she's like, I'm going to bed. So. And I was like, well, I mean, if it comes right down to it, I might have to stay out all night, you know, every couple of hours to go out and make a round. But that snow started, that snow, that was before the winch broke, actually, I think it was. And I think we were supposed to get a snowstorm, something like Nemo, but it just, just never came. I think it was the one that went down, so... Unless it was Nemo, but I don't know, but... No, because Nemo happened right the frig over there, I think, but... Whatever, we were, we were supposed to get something like that, I don't know, and... and it, it never did come, we only got about three inches of snow, and that was it, so... Of course, I still... Of course, I still went out and plowed it, you know, figure it. Get that mess out of there. So... Yeah, and uh, I don't know. Those lights um should uh, work work pretty good. So here, here's another thing, you guys. You wouldn't believe what I'm thinking of now. Okay, well, for Big Red, you know the four wheeler, um, you can get these rack extensions. Or not? Well, they're not extensions. Well. It's just like a metal bar that goes right around it, you know, so if you want to haul gas or something, or a chainsaw or something, you don't have to worry about it flinging over, right? Well, I'm thinking about getting me a couple of those. I'm thinking about putting one on the back and one on the front. I don't know if I, I don't, just don't know if I would like Big Red with them, with them on, but I guess you can take them off. It's supposed to be a, a click and go thing, you know. So, apparently, I don't know, I gotta look, I gotta look at those better, but... What I'm thinking of doing is, um, I'll check them out, and if they're, if they're small enough, I'm just going to mount a whole bunch of fucking lights on the front and the back, friggin', friggin' batteries, and they're, they're, they're cheap, fuck it, I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna cry over it, you know, I mean, it's not like I'm gonna be out, you know, forever anyway, running those things hard, you know, um, I guess they're, they're supposed to be waterproof, I think, those lights. And they're supposed to be shockproof too. So so I mean they can take, you know, a good beating. So I just hope, hope they last long enough. I mean I would like to get sheet I wish I could get ten years out of them, but I just don't see that happening. But you know, it would be awesome. Seems like things nowadays don't really last that long. I mean you could get probably two, three years out of them and that's it. <clears throat> so kinda sucks, but you know. Oh well, you know. I guess if I don't run them hard and long, you know, I could get 10 years out of them, but I just don't see it happening. But, I mean, it would be super nice. So, I mean, if I knew how to wire, I would just buy lights that I could mount to the body, you know, and then just run wiring to the battery and then do a switch, you know. I don't know if my uncle, I think my uncle knows how to do that, but I don't like to bother him, so. Any kind of bitches about it so friggin this is the only way I can I, this is the only way I can go unless I take it somewhere where they can do it for me a John Deere dealer I don't think would do it because they would just say well that's just stupid so <clears throat> but I mean that's I don't know I know for John Deere you can put a light on the back 
but they're not LEDs, they're halogen or something like that. I don't know if they're any brighter or what, but I, li I like the LEDs better. They seem to be a lot brighter, so. But, um, was it garbage day today? I thought that garbage day was not too long ago. Oh, it is garbage day. Well, the garbage truck's back in town. Truck's so damn loud. There's another little fucking thing too. They had an older one, and I, you know, and I and I and I liked it because it had more of a square shape to it. It was kind of like um, Savage No More's pickup. It had more of a square body design. This one's got the alien look. So, I mean, I'll try to get a, a shot of it here for you. Focus camera, please focus, thank you. I don't want to zoom in too much. Let's see how it's got that creepy body design on it. Must be a Ford, I don't know, but... I don't like them. I like the older ones better. They seem to be a lot nicer. Even though they're older, but they're still freaking nice. So... But like I was thinking for Big Red... Um, I kind of want to be able to plow more at night, you know, even though I really probably shouldn't, you know, but sometimes you kind of have to, and I kind of have a feeling one of these years we'll get a snowstorm and I'll be out all night plowing, so, it just seems like these years are getting worse as the years go on, and stuff, so, let me check my time here quick, too, it's one second. 39 minutes, freaking right, so, <clears throat> but I remember... I remember when my mom was a kid, and she was saying that when, because when she was a kid, that she, they had this, this, you know, the snowstorms and, and the thunderstorms and shit, crazy as hell. She said the lightning was so bad that I mean it would strike any freaking tree it wanted to, you know. I mean they would do it now, of course, but I mean, I don't. It seems like now these snowstorms or these thunderstorms and stuff are they're they're weak. They're not like they used to be, apparently, so, that's what my mom says, but, you know, whatever, so, to me, these seem worse, because, for, for one, I just don't like them, so, but I haven't been around that long, you know, so, I don't know what the, <laughs> what the 60s and the 70s and all the other years were like, you know, so, but, you know, whatever. So apparently from what mom says that we're we're getting it, it, it easy here now. You know, we're not getting shit like like she used to get. Thank God, you know. I don't want to deal with it. I'd rather not deal with it and just not have to deal with it. <laughs> you know, I mean it's just crazy, so and yeah, it's a school day today, boys and girls. So. Well, we got the uh, I gotta see what my uh, power company's doing here. He's over at his neighbor's house right now. He'll be, uh, he'll be coming probably to my house next. That's my, uh, power company, dude. And all the damn freaking uh, garbage trucks gonna come down this route. Gosh, it's a busy day today. Okay, guys, you know what? Hold on one damn second. Well, he didn't stop at my house, so I don't know where he went down that way now. But now the garbage truck's backing into the schoolyard now. So... Yeah, what a busy day, eh? Holy crap. It's a turbo diesel and you don't make it a black smoke. God, I hate these new engines. Fuck. What pisses me off, guys, for the, for the newer trucks now, they have these, um, for trucks that have Cummins engines, they got those, uh, tier fours now, or whatever the fuck they're called. They're, they're the new engines that Cummins makes now for trucks like Dodge Ram 
Well, apparently they're they're redesigned now, so they don't make any damn black smoke. It pisses me off because I want black smoke. So, like, I mean, if you drive an older truck and you put the hammer down, there's just gonna be tons of freaking black smoke coming out of the freaking exhaust pipe, right? These newer trucks won't do them. I don't know if I want a new truck now. Frig it. If I want, you know, I want a diesel, and I expect it to make some damn smoke, you know. I don't know what's even why. Who cares about black smoke? I suppose because what happens when these diesel trucks are at parking lots <laughs> and there's somebody walking out of their car and there's somebody in the, in the truck gonna start the truck and they get sprayed by black smoke. Well, I guess I could see why, but you know, grow up. It's a damn. It's a diesel. They're gonna do it. So, but they gotta freak over these new Cummins engines, you know. I don't know if uh, Duramax is doing that or not, because if, I mean, who cares? It's just friggin' smoke. You know, friggin', I don't, I don't mind it at all. Friggin'. <clears throat> but, you know, whatever. I'm gonna be like, bitch, this thing better fucking smoke when I put the hammer down. I'm not buying it. <laughs> Might have to, uh, buy, I guess buy a, buy a uh, older Dodge. So, whatever. It's going to be a Dodge either way, so, either new or used. So, but you know, whatever. <clears throat> but yeah, so, like I was saying about Big Red, I'm just going to put the, uh, i got to figure out the price, but I haven't really looked. So, but you can put those rack things on, and... If I could mount some lights to that, I would. No, I wouldn't go crazy, of course. But, I mean... Honestly, I probably would just, uh... I don't know, I would probably just put one on maybe on each side. Because you really can't see the ends of the blades. You know, the, the sides, like the left, and, the left and right side. So... I mean, that's the only thing I would do is just put them on the side and put the rack extension on the back, and I'll just put two on the back. Even though I was thinking about putting them on the bumper, but I just don't really know if they would be that bright that way. I mean, they would they would be more pointing. They would be lighting up a little spot, and I want it to fan out, you know, and light up in more of an area. So that's the only way I probably that's the only way I probably could go. It's just with the uh, with a rack on the back, and of course on the front too. But I don't know exactly how thick they are, so I don't know. I guess what I could do if I wanted to, I guess I could I could buy it. And if it don't fit, I could just drill a hole in and just put a bolt through, and then just shove some bunch of washers or spacers in it because I got plenty of those now. So, and of course then I'll be getting more as I as I order more lights. So, you know, I could probably buy them somewhere too. I guess I could, you know, buy them somewhere. I don't know where, but, you know, stuff. So, you know, whatever. I mean, it's, it's a thought, right? So, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, this is what I'm thinking of doing. I'll just put, you know, lights on Big Red, too. I planned on it, but, I mean, I didn't quite know how I wanted to do it yet. <clears throat> I mean, I would like them on the front, too. Even though, you know, the stock lights are bright. I mean, they're plenty bright. They'll do the job. But, I mean, I want at least one on each side so I can see down on the side of the blades. You know. And then maybe, maybe two on the back. Oh, well, yeah, definitely two because one probably wouldn't cut it for the, uh, for the, for the cultivator. I don't know, I might even have to have to go with the third one because one for each side of the machine so you can see the side, of, you know, the ends of the cultivator and then, you know, then for the middle, there probably wouldn't be much for lighting so then you'd have to add a third one on. I mean, it probably sounds retarded because, well, at least that's a lot of batteries, but, you know, fuck off because I'm the one paying for those I'm paying for the batteries, you know, frick it. 
I mean, I'm not gonna cry over it. They're batteries. Fuck it. If I could replace them with, with uh, rechargeable ones, that'd be awesome. But I don't know if I can do that. So I mean, I don't really see why not. But I mean, I don't really know. So I guess you just have to buy them and find out. See if it would uh, if it would uh, work that way or not. <clears throat> But anyways, guys, pretty much well, then we got the uh, tractor done. I mean, I was hoping to put one on the back, but I can't do anything right now because, you know. Um, who the hell is driving the garbage truck? Is there a kid driving? Because, or is there a dumb fuck? Because no, normally... He backs up here, and he backs down that driveway. Now, if you look, look what he forgot to do. Can you guys see that little freaking uh, orange bag down there? He forgot to go down there and get it. What the hell's up with that? Fucking, you know what, that person, if I was that person... I would be calling the garbage company and be like, ah, uh, hello. He showed up in town, but he didn't go down my road. Wow. That's kind of sad to see because he's, he went everywhere else. So he didn't go down there, though. I don't know what the hell he's doing, but. You seriously can't see an orange bag in white snow? Wow. I feel kind of bad for that guy now. Frig. I mean, that's retarded. Why? How could you not see that? I mean, don't you ever look that way? What the hell is this world coming to? I mean, yeah, it's just a garbage. But, I mean, that's going to be sitting there for who knows how long now. And they only come, what, once a week? Every other week? I don't know what the fuck the schedule is. I get it, but I don't look at it. It just goes right in the freaking garbage. I don't, uh, I don't do business with them. I just fucking burn my shit. I just burn it. Bring it. You want to see burn? Uh, I think my mom's burning the garbage right now. Yeah. Choochin. Choochin, buddy. But yeah, so we don't even... You know, oh, I'm going to make this video even longer now. Because this is just pissing me off now. Guess what I have to do every month? Is... Okay, what I have to do every month is I have to pay them, the garbage company, money. But I don't do business with them. But I still have to pay for it. I don't put orange garbage bags on the side of the road. Because I don't want your business. Because you guys' freaking schedules are so freaking retarded. And then in the winter time, they only show up like... I don't know, every other, other week? Jesus, it's freaking retarded. And they... I don't, I mean, it's a lot of money that I have to pay to even, fuck, stupid. So, kind of what's, what's been going on is I've just been slacking off and not paying it, you know, because I, I, do, I do pay him a little bit, but I'm already so far behind because I don't bother paying for it because why? I don't want your business, you know, I mean, Jesus. And that right there freaking proves that they're freaking retards because they didn't even pick up that garbage over there. Freaking goofs. Yeah, and, and, I, and I still have to pay even though I'm not doing their business. I'm not using their business. Out of all the years, I've only been here for three, four seasons and, and I've never, they've never stopped in front of my house. And... <laughs> Here's another thing. To make your garbage legal to be picked up by a garbage company, well, for us, it has to be orange. But I don't know, for other, I mean, like, other companies, like Florida, I mean, maybe they're yellow, maybe. I don't know what the colors they are, but for us, it's orange. And we have to pay for that. So we're, we're actually getting ripped off because we pay... I don't know how much for those garbage bags, because I don't ever buy them, because, fuck, they're just going to get burnt anyway. So we just buy the cheap white ones, and 
and that's the that's the only color they'll pick up is the orange ones. They won't pick up the white ones or the green ones or the purple ones or the yellow ones or the dark dark blue ones or anything like that. Orange is the only thing they'll pick up. I don't think they'll pick up other junk like say like a table or something. I don't know if they do that. So, but so I don't I don't know. I think it's. I don't know, it's got to be close to 10 bucks. I don't know what the fuck they charge. Or, I mean, I don't know what they cost. Well, 10 bucks, I'm going to say for, you know, for a good size box of garbage bags. Those orange ones. Now, of course, the orange ones, I think, have their company name and the state and everything on them, but to make them legal. But, they're, for one, they're a rip-off. Because we're paying for that, too. And we're also paying just for the, for the garbage company. And... I'm paying for it, but I'm not using their business. I mean, yeah, I could start doing using their business, but I'm not paying 10, 15 bucks for a bag of garbage or garbage bags. Break that noise. Uh-uh, not going to happen. Okay, let me check my time here quick. Okay, so I got 24 minutes, so not too bad, I guess. It's going to be another long freaking video again, but, you know, whatever, so. But, I mean, I'm not, no. I would, I would actually be losing out because that's just not right. Minnesota's fucked up, so of course, well, so is North Dakota. Everybody, everybody thinks North Dakota's so damn wonderful. The freaking colleges there are freaking stupid as fuck. I mean, sure, there's a lot of smart kids, you know, there and stuff, but very little. I mean, you know. I think for the colleges there in North Dakota, you know, for all of them, those kids, they mostly drink, fuck, do drugs, and that's it. They don't, they don't go to, they don't go to college. They don't really, really learn anything. It's mostly just to freaking do their drugs and get girls pregnant and, you know, crap like that. That's all, they, all those fucking fags do. You know, and then the girls, of course, they... Dress up in their gangster clothes and try to act tough, you know, and all that bullshit, but stupid. I mean they don't they don't actually go to school, you know, they just they're lazy is what they are. Of course now I dropped out of school when I was sixteen because well for one I can't learn anything anyway. And started getting kinda of busy for, you know, around here. I start I was doing more and more every year. Now my friend's getting older, so well, he's the one that with the, you know, with the 986, the tractor, and I'm doing a little bit more for him now. Not much, but, you know, I just help him out every chance I can and stuff. So, you know, and I was helping out my uncle and I'm doing stuff for my grandma and, you know, and I'm starting to work on stuff now. And now I'm cutting trees and I'm, I got my own yard to take care of. I mean, it's getting busier now. And now I'm buying more, you know, I'm going to be buying more lawn equipment to, uh, you know, sweep the lawn and, you know, and aerate it and take care of it. That's going to take more work. So, it's going to get very busy around here for a while. I mean, it's going to take time, of course, but once you get everything, that's when it's going to start really taking off. So, and then, you know, it's hoping to start farming, but farming is not going to happen for a while, so... You know, bring it. So, but you know, whatever. But I mean, it's uh, you know, for the for this garbage business over here, it's just it's just retarded. How could you forget? How could you not see that? You know what? I, you know what I would like to do? Take that garbage bag and go knock the driver out because. Now, there was last year there was a girl driving, and she was doing alright for a driver. But now there's this freaking punk dr kid driving, I don't know who the fuck he is, but he's driving this freaking dumb garbage truck and not pick up a garbage. I don't even know if he went on these freaking back roads, because there's more back roads over there, and there's that one down here, and there's a couple over there, of course, and then there's, there's a main highway. The school bus actually just come down and now, so it's sitting right there at the school, because there's two schools in this freaking town. One for the freaking kitties, and then one for the bigger kitties. 
I don't know why you just don't build one big fucking school and have them all together. Come on. Freak's sakes. Cost, cost money. Oh, I'm not paying for it. And our guy that used to be the mayor, he's not the mayor anymore. There's a girl that's, that's a freaking mayor now. And my one friend that owns the 1086, the big tractor, he was actually saying to me that I should uh, try to run for mayor of this little shithole got, we got going here. Well, for one, I don't think I would, I would get the job because I'm too young. And, well, people around here just wouldn't, wouldn't freaking hire me. Because I, unless they were super desperate, but, I mean, there's plenty of people yet to go around, so. But, honestly, if I was the mayor, I think things would change. I mean, I know I really can't change much of anything, but, I mean, these schools are going to go somewhere else, you know. And, you know, there's going to be some more laws around here where they fucking can't drive 90 miles an hour on 30 miles an hour zone. You want to go, you want to do 90, you go to the freaking racetrack or something. Or go on these back roads or something, you know. So, so these people are just getting out of freaking control, you know. They're freaking not caring about anything. So, just like when these little bitches over here at the, at the school here, they were uh, trespassing on my property and they were climbing up my freaking big ass tree I got going over here. I did make a video on it a long time ago. But for you guys, new guys, like Savage more, you guys don't know about that video, but they are actually climbing my big tree. And they are sitting on my sewer tank lid. Don't ask me why, but they were. And they were, they were playing baseball on that chunk of land that's next to mine. And I honestly didn't appreciate it because for, well, many reasons. One is that they broke a big chunk of bark off my tree. Didn't bother to clean it up. I mean, they didn't even bother picking it up and putting it next to the tree. They could have at least have done that. You know. No, they just left it on the ground. It was like 20 feet from the tree. I don't know why it helped so far away, but it was. And they are sitting on my sewer tank lid. Which I hope, I wish they would have fell in. Because then I would have just had to put the lid back on and left them. They could rot with the freaking crap, so... And, and then they were playing baseball huh, next to my house. Now, if a kid were having to hit that ball really good, guess where that ball's going? Most likely through my window. Or it could go probably right through the freaking wall because the walls are so cheesy. I mean, you know, I could sue that school big times. I mean, probably not a whole heck of a lot, but I mean, a lot to cover damages to the house. And just a little extra just to piss them off. And stuff. So. But I mean these these motherfuckers better watch it. Because I do have a lawyer. I mean he's not exactly my lawyer anymore. But I, I know where to find him. I'm not afraid to go pull him, call him up and be like hey buddy I need you again. My lawyer does not fuck around. He's the best lawyer around here. So. I'm not going to say his name. Because it's just none of you guys' damn business. So. But, uh, that's a school bus that went by. Must have been, I don't see that, that other school bus, but. But, I mean, you know, it's just. These freaking kids better watch it, man. Or I'm gonna start swinging fists. You know. It ain't gonna be for the, it ain't gonna be to the kids, it'll be to the, to the teachers and the parents. Because they're freaking stupid. I don't know what the hell they're doing at that school, but now they're parking over there. They used to park behind the buildings, and now they're parking over there. The school bus driver doesn't know what the fuck she's doing, because she's... Right now, she's backing out of that other second driveway. And she just parks in front of my house and picks up all the little kitties. I don't know why they don't just don't go through the back way, but I suppose maybe they don't want to tear up the gravel. Because they don't want to fix it. You know, I fixed mine. You know, I got like a little chunk of gravel in front of my uh, driveway. The driveway and then the gravel and then then in the road. I fixed that a little bit. I mean, yeah, it's not a lot. I don't know it's not as much as what the school would be doing, but they got bobcat loaders. You know, two two or three swipes in my driveway, and I'd be done with it. You know, if I had a bobcat, well, it'll take them probably maybe a couple hours to fix it. I mean, if they had maybe more than one bobcat. 
but you know, go up. The vice is getting loose again. I have to tighten it again. Oh, excuse me. But anyways, guys, <coughs> I don't want to bore you guys anymore now. I'm running out of time now, so I'm gonna take off and I'll start uh, uploading this video. And I'm gonna go play some Saints Rose. Saints Row the Third, that new video game. Well, it's not new anymore, but it's somewhat new. Love it. It's awesome. So I'm going to go back and play it. I already had beaten the game, but, you know. Break it. Freaking ass. I think you murder people just as much in that freaking game as you can on uh, Grand Theft Auto. And if you guys want to see, I might do it, but I don't know. I really want, I want you guys to let me know if you guys want to see a uh, Saints Row video. Saints Row the Third, the video game for the PS3 or the Xbox, but I got it for the PS3, so I might do a video game on that, but I mean a video on that. I don't know for sure, but I just want to know if you guys want me to. I can. It won't be anytime soon, but I mean, well, by the time this video is up, I'll have plenty of time on my camera. So, but you know, let, let, let me know, guys, and I'll be happy to do it. This stuff, so. Yeah, but anyway, guys, I'm going to take off. So, yeah, have a good day. Don't forget to uh, smoke some cigarettes and stuff. So, yeah, see you later.